Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering structures in C. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. For example, if you consider arrays, in arrays we can store only similar type of elements. For example, if you consider this example, in this example I written int a and I open square bracket and close square bracket. Whenever you write like this, you can store only integer type of elements and I cannot store mixer type of elements. Here I written int a equal to 10, 10.5 and c where 10 is integer type and 10.5 is float, float data type and this c is character data type. I cannot declare like this in arrays. I cannot store mixer type of elements in an array. If you want to group variables of different data types in one place, then you need to use structures. Structures are a way to group variables of different data type in one place. Each variable in structure is also known as member of structure. Whatever the variables that we are declaring inside structure, we call these variables as members. Like arrays, a structure can contain many different data types. As I said before, by using structures, we can store variables of different data types. This is syntax of structure. Structure, structure tag. Structure tag is nothing but name of structure. And open curly bracket. Inside this, we need to write members. Members are nothing but variables of different data types. This is an example. For structures, we need to use keyword struct. For integers, we use keyword int. And similarly, for character char. And similarly for structures we need to use keyword struct. Here I written struct book. Book is name of structure. And after that I open curly brackets and inside curly brackets I written int pages, float price, character author. Where this pages is variable name and this int is data type. As I said before by using structures we can store variables of different data types in one place. So here I stored variables, pages, price and author. These three are variables of different data types. I stored these variables in single place by using structure. Only pages contain numbers like 10 pages, 20 pages, 30 pages. So that I written here into pages. And for price, I am declaring price as 10.5 rupees, 10.23 rupees, 30.5 rupees like that. So here I written float price. And here I written character author. And inside square brackets, I written 30. Whenever you declare here 30, I can write author name of 30 characters maximum 30 characters next initialization and accessing of structures that means how we will initialize values to structures normally we will initialize values like this into pages equal to 10 float price equal to 30.52 and character author equal to nagendra but in structures we should not initialize values like this whenever you initialize values like this it will display error so there are some rules which we need to follow before initializing values we can initialize and access structures in three ways this is first way here i written hash include hdo.h that is header file and normally we will declare structure outside the main function so after writing header file i written structure and name of the structure is data you can also call this name as structure tag here i written structure data i open curly bracket inside this i written int a character b and float c here i took three variables of different data type after that i close the curly bracket and here i written d equal to where d is short name of this data i am giving short name of this data as d so here i written d equal to for int a i took value as 10 and for character b i took b and for float c i took value as 10.5 we need to include these values inside curly brackets and we need to close this by using semicolon this is how we assign values to the variables I should not assign like this int a equal to 10. I should not assign like this. There are three ways to assign values. This is first way. And after that, I return int main. And inside int main, I return printf value of a is percentage d comma d dot a. Normally, we will write like percentage d comma a. But here we need to write d dot a. That means value of a which is stored in d. This is meaning. So here I need to write d dot a. And similarly, printf value of b is for character percentage c comma d dot b. And similarly, printf value of c is for float percentage f comma d dot c and here i written return 0 so by writing this program i will get output as value of a is 10 and value of b is b and value of c is 10.5 this is output this is first way of assigning values to structure and this is another way this is second way of assigning values to structures here at first i written header file as include hdo.h and here i written structure data where data is name of structure and inside that I written int a character b and float c and I closed curly bracket and I given semicolon after that I written int main and inside this int main I am assigning values to structure so I written structure data d where d is short name of this data so here I written structure data d equal to 10 b and 10.5 where we need to give values inside curly brackets and close with semicolon after that I written print a value of a is percentage d comma d dot a 
print f value of b is percentage c comma d dot b print f value of c is percentage f comma d dot c because all these values are stored in d so here i written d dot a d dot b and d dot c by writing this program i will get output as value of a is 10 value of b is b and value of c is 10.50 this is output this is third way of assigning values to structures here i written hash into ratio dot h after that i took structure data way data is structure name and inside that i written int a character b and float c after that i written into main function and i opened curly bracket after that i declared structure data d way d is short name of this data so now i am assigning values d dot a equal to 13 d dot b equal to b and d dot c equal to 10.5 now for this three values i took three printf functions by writing this program, I will get output as value of A is 10, B is B and C is 10.5. This is how we assign values to structures. These are the three ways to assign values to structures. Next, arrays of structures. Normally, by using structures, we can show details of only single book or single student like that. But if I want to store details of multiple books or multiple students, for that purpose, I need to use arrays of structures. This is example program. Here I took hash include ratio dot h and hash include string dot h. And here I took structure student. I given structure name as student. And inside this, I written int rule number. Normally, we will show rule numbers in integers like rule number 10, 20 like that. So here I written int rule number and character name 10. I given size as 10. You can show up to 10 characters. And I closed this structure with curly bracket and after that I included semicolon after that I took int main and inside int main I written int i here this int i is for for loop so here I written int i and struct student std of i by writing this I can include details of 5 students after that I written here printf enter records of 5 students whenever you write this printf statement on output screen you can see enter record of 5 students after that I took for loop and inside for loop I written i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus that means I can show details of 5 students starting from 0 1 2 3 4 so inside this for loop I written printf enter rule number by writing this I can see enter rule number on output screen after that I written scan f percentage d and std i dot rule number where std is short name of the student so here I written std of i comma rule number Whenever you write this, you can enter rule number after executing a program. After that, again I return printf enter name. And after that, I return scan f percentage s. Here character name of 10 is string. So here I return percentage s comma and std i dot name. Whenever you declare this, you can write name of student after executing a program. This for loop is just for giving input of rule number and student name and i need to take another for loop that is for output so in order to generate output i need to take another for loop that is i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus which you have given for input take same for loop i equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus in and inside this for loop i written printf rule number normally we store rule number with percentage d and name with percentage s comma std i of rule number std i dot rule number comma std i dot name whenever you write this printf function whatever the names that you have entered it will be displayed on output screen so by writing this program you will get output as enter record of five students here i written enter record of five students so here i here i will get enter record of five students and by using this for loop i can enter details of five students so here i took two scan f this is output print enter rule number of student so here I, I can see enter record of five students by taking this for loop and declaring two scan f functions I can enter details of 5 students. So here I given 5 student names and rule numbers. After this, I took another for loop. This is for output. So by writing this printf function, I will get output as student information list, rule number 1, Nagendra, whatever the details I, that I entered here, it will appear here. This is how we use arrays of structures. Next topic is unions in C. Whatever the variables of different data types which we are including in this union, all members share the same memory location. To define a union, you must use union statement in the same way as you did in structures. For structures, we use struct keyword. For unions, we need to use union keyword. That's it. Whatever the syntax that we declared in structures, same syntax we need to write for union. This is example. Here I turn syntax union, union tag and inside this we can declare members. This is an example. Here I return union book and inside union i written int pages float price character author 30 and close curly bracket and at last we need to include semicolon this example is same as structures only difference is in structures here we use struct keyword and whereas for unions we need to use union keyword by using unions we can print size size of variables 
whatever the variables of various data types that you included in this union it will print size this is example program of union here i written hash include sh.h and hash include string.h here i took union data where data is union name and after i open curly bracket inside curly bracket i written int a float b and character c of 20 i closed curly bracket and then i closed it with semicolon after that i took int main and inside main function i written union data d where d is short name of this data here i written printf percentage d comma size of d whenever i write here size of d so it will print size of all these variables of different data types so by writing this percentage d comma size of d i will get output as 20 the name itself says union min by combining all these data types it will print size so i will get output as 20 bytes 